Top of the morning to you all. I hope you've all had a lovely day so far. You're tuning in to Connor 500, professional gambler, on this relatively sleepy Sunday morning, looking ahead at today's racing. It's not the busiest day in the world, but we've got a couple of races to work with in the form of the Irish Cesarovic, Cesarovic and a lovely handicap over at Foss Lass. So I'm looking forward to it. We've got two standout handicaps to attack and we don't need much more than that. We can work with that. How did it go yesterday? Yeah, solid win, mostly because of Majestic in the main race, the 340 Newmarket. There would have been a few punters that accidentally bet on Majestic Dawn, which was easily done, which is a massive shame that's happened. Um, Majestic and Majestic Dawn in the same race. But yeah, overall for the channel, it's a decent enough day. We didn't get anything out of the, the UK Lucky 15, but the Irish Lucky 31 saved us in some sense by paying for itself on top of our win in the 340. So I'm not complaining about yesterday, but on the other hand, I'm not cheering it after the losses we've taken throughout, well, throughout the last two months, if I'm completely honest, if we're completely honest, throughout the whole last two months, it's just been... It's been a difficult ride. We, I mean, I know we had a big, massive win last Saturday, but there's only so long you can go on about that. There really is. Yesterday, it weren't too bad. We move on today. We've got two handicaps today. I've got a slip to show you. I'll do it at the end of the video. That's how we're going to do things. I'll show the slip at the end of it, like a back page. Today, we've got two handicaps. People will be thinking, did Connor go two times two, or has he gone three times three? I've gone three times three today. And I know this will not be everyone's cup of tea. There'll be some people coming to this channel just for one tip on one horse. But I do have good reason for showing you this way. I really do. If it weren't that much value, I wouldn't do it. We've, we've got nine lots of each way doubles, guys. Nine lots of each way doubles. Thank you so much for coming along. And I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing up. 3.30 Foss Lass, 4.15 Curra. Let's go. That's how I've done it, guys. It's just nine lots of 25 each way doubles. It's all going to be in the description box. In the 350 Foslas, we've got Alcataf at 16 to 1. Alcataf, 16 to 1. We've got Zillion at 20 to 1. And we've got Master Grey at 11 to 1. So Alcataf, Zillion and Master Grey. That's three horses in the 350. And it's all going on to, in the 415, Maze Runner, Falcon 8 and Inuit. Maze Runner, Falcon 8 and Inuit. So that's nine lots of each way doubles. It's Alcataf onto Maze Runner, Alcataf onto Falcon 8, Alcataf onto Inuit. We've then got Zillion onto Maze Runner, Zillion onto Falcon 8, and Zillion onto Inuit. We've then got Master Grey onto Maze Runner, Master Grey onto Falcon 8, Inu Master Grey onto Inuit. Nine lots of each way doubles. That price on Master Grey is terrible. 365 have shortened right up on it. 365, they either do one of two things. They'll offer an outstanding price. They'll go a million to one when everyone else is two to one. Or they'll just tighten everything up and go 11s when everyone else is 16s. 365, you can't say that they don't do their own thing. Do you know what I mean? They do. They do, do, the, they, they, they do their own thing, if you get what I'm saying. We've got nine lots of each way doubles. It's a beautiful way of doing it. We're hoping to spike a winner across both. That's what we'd love. A zillion maze runner double win. That's what we'd love. If we don't get that, we've got a lot of chances for a huge value place double. Because these place doubles are huge value. That's, that, that's a fact. These doubles are huge value. So if we can spike one, two or three of them, we're happy with that. And worst comes to worst, if we don't hit today, if we, get two, if we, don't, if we don't manage to survive a double across, then we did the right thing and we're going to get rewarded for it eventually. I'm more than happy with that. Don't get singles on. Don't have singles on. But just don't just get your doubles on and leave it that. If it goes downhill in the 350, don't bother back in re don't really don't bother back in the 415 as singles because they were better value with doubles. And if the first race has gone that badly, how much of a jackpot are you really going to win from backing three horses in singles in the second race anyway? You're not going to back that much. So just chill out, let it run, let it do its thing. Get in the passenger seat as soon as you've placed these bets. Right, the bets from yesterday. We've got a few here. Um, do I need to show that one? I don't think I do. I don't think I need to show that one. That's a loser. That's solid. I think that's four losers. Yes, four losers there. Four out of four losers. And we had that one, which just overpaid for itself. Guys, I just want you to look at something here. Look at that 
what they're offering there, you get two times one winner. If you get one winner on lucky 15, you get two times the odds. If you get one winner on a lucky 31, they're offering four times the odds. They're offering four times the odds on a lucky 31. That is outrageous. How can you even lose, even if you wasn't placing it in 16 minor handicaps and bad each ways? But we are. But, I mean, even if we wasn't, how could we lose? How can anyone lose? Four times the odds, one winner, is outrageous. How many points to the bet is that adding on average overall? It's outrageous. And the bet we're all waiting for is that one. Um, so that's the main one. So what am I going to do today? What am I going to do today when I walk in that bet thread today? I'm basically... Where's that other stiff? I've got another one to show you. Man. Hang on. Yeah, this one. This is what I did the other day. That's what I did the other day. I'm just going to do something very similar today. So I'm just going to have three horses on that bit, three horses on that bit, and £2.50 each way doubles. So I'm today, all I'm having is £2.50 each way doubles. Where that says 25, I'll be doing... I'll basically be writing it like that, but having £2.50 each way. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know how we've got six and a half minutes in. I don't know how. I just end up talking. Right, talker. It's probably all waiting to go. But anyway, right. One last thing I was going to say. Yeah, the room's getting a lot more sorted tomorrow. There'll be some people asking why I'm getting a TV and a dartboard and that when I'm supposed to be making a studio for the videos. I just want to explain this because I hadn't explained this properly before. My original plan, the original plan for the budget was to do it purely just for the video so it wouldn't have been no tv no nothing i would have concentrated more on lighting and things like that and actual little studio space and i started stressing myself out thinking what lighting do i need to get need to get this thousand pound camera and all that and then i thought to myself connor why don't you just make your room the way you want it put some effort into to be fair put some effort into where you live in because i'll be honest with you my whole life every time i move to a new place I sort of stick my stuff down. I just have it like a little hotel rather than really looking after it as a home sort of thing. And I've done that my whole life. And when I was out most of the day every day, it didn't make it wasn't an issue because I was out most of the day anyway. But I'm indoors now anyway. So all I'm just to say that's why a lot of the studio is a TV and stuff. It's because originally it was supposed to be different stuff. But I started thinking what I didn't know what to get. And then I changed it slightly. And I thought Connor, make the room how you want it irrelevant of whether that lighting is 2% better or whether the picture is 2% clearer. Make it how you want it, how you want it to be, and just and have it more, rather than the optimal studio. Do you know what I mean? So that's, because I know, yeah, I've probably explained that badly, but that's the reason why a lot of the items for the studio, such as the dartboard, don't really improve it. It's because I had to change what I'm doing slightly. Hope you all have a lovely day. We've done the right thing here. Two solid handicaps. If I'm ever gone... If, if the day comes, God forbid, that Connor 500 is not here, when you walk into that bookmaker and you see exactly two lots of 16 mana handicaps, lump on in multiples across the two, bigger end of the market. But hopefully Connor 500 will be here forever. Immortal. I'll leave it at that. Have a lovely day. Take care of yourself. I'll see you tomorrow for a relatively quiet Monday. I'm going to Betfred today to place £45. I'm picking up, I think, just over 200 So I'm going to pick up... I'm going to get the 200, give them 45 back for today's bet, put the rest in the old skyrocket, and then I'm going to go do a bit of shopping. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you later.